I all primed and set, but I only primed above my crease. I did not touch my lid yet, and I will explain why I did that a little bit later. First, I'm taking the shadow called Sorbet. This is by Makeup Geek, and I'm going to buff this in my crease very, very lightly at first, and then slowly build up the color with this fluffy blending brush from Coastal Scents. Now I'm taking the shade Bitten. This is also by Makeup Geek. And I'm going to use this very precise pencil brush to stick this in my crease as well. And I'm gonna keep going back and forth between the fluffy blending brush and that really precise pencil brush. I'm gonna build up the color, blend it out, switch back to the pencil brush, add more color, switch back to the fluffy brush, blend it out, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, until I get the intensity of that shadow that I am looking for. Now I'm taking a concealer. Any thicker concealer will work. And this really precise brush, this one is from Bare Minerals, I believe, and I'm gonna use this to cut my crease. Now I'm taking Sorbet again and I'm going to pack this all over that concealer using an e.l.f. shader brush. Now I'm going back in with a bit in just to soften that cut crease a little bit. Now I'm taking this white shade from this Wet n Wild Pride palette. This palette is discontinued. Any matte light shade will work. This is just the only one that I can get to show up on my skin tone because I'm so fair. Now I'm just taking that fluffy brush and blending out the highlight color and the crease color together. Now I'm taking ColourPop Spoon. This is a highlighter and I'm gonna dust that over top of my highlight. Now I'm taking the NYC Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Extreme Black and I'm going to create my wing. Now for mascara, I'm using my Revlon Volume Plus Length Magnified Mascara, as per usual. And of course, toning down that wing a little bit with a makeup wipe. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go off of camera and do all the boring stuff, my foundation, my concealer, my powder, my brows, all of that good stuff. And then we can go ahead and finish up the eyes. I am taking this ColourPop Creme Gel Liner in the shade Get Paid. It's a very nice metallic rosy gold. I thought it went with this look very nicely. That's going in my waterline. And then I'm going to dust a little bit of Sorbet on my lower lash line. This look would also look really pretty with a little bit of Bitten buffed out on the lower lash line. It would look really nice and smoky and deep. Now I'm using the same mascara on my bottom lashes. Now I'm taking ColourPop Spoon once again to highlight my inner corner and then I also decided to add even more on my brow bone to make it much more intense. Now moving on to the face. I am taking this lightest shade in my NYX Contour Kit once I can get it open. And I'm gonna use that to cut my cheekbones and bronze up my temples and my forehead and the sides of my nose and the bottom of my lip. You know the drill, you know the drill. Now I'm taking this baked bronzer by Milani. It's in the shade Glow, and I'm just gonna dust that over top of my contour very, very lightly. Nothing too intense. Now for blush, I was deciding between these two, but I decided on the Essence Silky Touch Blush in the shade Baby Doll. Now 
final for highlights, I am using Spoon by ColourPop one last time. First, I'm going in with this Real Techniques setting brush, and then I'm gonna go over it with a fan brush. Now I am just wiping off that excess foundation off of my lips because the lip that I'm going in with applies and wears much, much better, I've found, when it's on completely bare lips. And that is the Dose of Colors Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Stone. And that completes this look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any future videos of mine. And I will see you next time. Bye. Shut